Let's hop right into it. Time to bounce around some more topics. We call it face off. Brett Yormark, Big 12 commissioner, is planning to enter a multi year agreement to play regular season football and basketball games in Mexico. Wait, hang on. Did you say Mexico? Mexico, yes. Your mark is apparently inspired by the international success of the professional leagues. I'm not sure I like this right now. Uh, first blush, I don't like it either, but we need to know more. Will Big 12 schools like Iowa State potentially lose a home football game or basketball game? What's your mark trying to do? Increase media rights value? He's been an aggressive commissioner and might deserve the benefit of the doubt, but the Big 12 is not the NFL. We'll see how this goes. The LSU women added uh, another monster transfer this week to Paul forward Anissa Morrow. Kim Mulkey's championship team was already the slight favorite to win it all, John. Now LSU becomes the heavy favorite. Yeah, so they've got Angel Reese, Haley Van Lith, and Anissa Morrow. It's basically a super team assembled in Baton Rouge. Money talks. No way five years ago three legit stars transferred to play alongside each other in college. But if they're going to make hundreds of thousands of dollars, why not? Why not? I probably would too. Former Hawkeye Aaron Euless transfers to Nebraska. Euless started 27 games for Iowa, averaged six points. Good player, but never really found the consistency as a scorer. Interesting to see where he fits with Fred Hoiberg. Yeah, these in-conference transfers are hard to get used to, especially when they're eligible yeah. right away. Uh, this will be inter interesting to see what Hoiberg can get out of Euless and Iowa will face Nebraska yeah. next year. Stay tuned on this one. Cyclone point guard Jeremiah Williams is in the transfer portal. Williams transferred out of the portal to Iowa State last year, but then missed the entire season with a torn Achilles, so he leaves without ever playing in Ames. Had he been healthy, I think he would have been the starting point guard, but the emergence of Taman Lipsy likely entered into his decision. The Cyclones added a good amount of guard depth through the portal this year, so I don't think this is a huge loss for TJ Otzelberger. Yeah. And finally, Earlier this week, our friend and co-worker Kaylin Thompson, Today in Iowa Morning Show anchor, revealed she has been battling breast cancer since November. Six chemo treatments and surgery later this month. We this month we wish her nothing but the best. Such a great person and one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. Yeah, I'm in awe of Kaylin. She's been getting up at 2 a.m. and delivering the news for months, all the while battling cancer and going for chemotherapy on Fridays. Why Friday? So she can get back to work on Monday. All with a smile, all without complaint. She's from Norwalk, and Kaylin's showing us what a warrior is.